Well, we're excited to have Jeff here. He's from LRAD Corporation. Hey, Jeff, how you doing today? How you doing? Good to see you. You too, sir. So, I'm somewhat familiar with this. I've seen some stuff on TV we kind of talked about before. It's, it's been featured in, in a lot of different places. Um, I haven't seen this device. This is the 100, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So, can you kind of just tell me what, what it's about? Tell us what it's about? Sure. The, uh, the 100X is our portable long-range acoustic device. And basically what we can do is communicate effectively to people at long and safe distances. Each separate LRAD has its own different ranges depending on the size of the LRAD. Right, because they get huge and we have some other we're going to show that are a little larger. Exactly. But this is the compact, portable, go any, any, you know, any operation that's away you can take it to. That's right. Okay. So it's very portable. It's uh, 15 pounds uh, off the cradle and on this uh, magnetic right, cradle it's uh, this magnetic cradle is 23 pounds. And you said there's a rare earth magnets on there? Yeah, these are 60 pound magnets. So when you emplace them on a vehicle or whatever, it's gonna stick, you know, no matter if you're driving or whatever. Okay. Um, and this makes it very portable and easy to use in any type of environment. So what's the range on the, on the 100? Okay, the range on this one here is up to 700 meters and uh, we can push out 137 dBs, okay? okay? So that's loud. It's very loud. Okay. All right. And it's going to get your attention. So clearly what we want to do with these LRADs is we want to effectively communicate uh, with whoever the target is right. and be able to get, you know, de-escalate a situation or communicate and let them know what we want them to do. So you said this can translate as well? Well, or, not necessarily translate. Okay. What we can do is we can hook up squids, VRTs, uh, phrasalators, iPads, iPhones, whatever, to the LRAD and it'll communicate through the LRAD clearly. So if we use a VRT or a squid, right. uh, let's say we're in Afghanistan and we don't have an interpreter with us, I can literally uh, you know, talk into it in English, transfer it over to Farsi, and then it's going to translate exactly what I said in English in to English. Farsi. Right. And then it's going to come out of the LRAD crystal clear and uh, targeted on that, that target area. So the next thing we're going to talk about is you, you have some other devices that are help yep. or... Uh... Yes, sir. Well, one of the things I, I want to make sure everybody understands okay. with this one, it's powered through its own power system. That's it's right. got its own lithium battery system. And that's in the uh, back right here? Yes, sir. And it's very easy to, uh, to charge. This connects right Whoa. into here and right through an AC. Okay. We also have a cigarette lighter plug adapter so they can uh, charge it on the run. And you said uh, about, it, it lasts six to eight hours? Or? Lasts eight to 10 hours. No, eight to 10 hours. Okay. On uh, normal use. The cool thing on this thing too is on our magnetic mount system, we have a canter piece over here on the side. And if you want to change the radius, we got a detent pin that fits right here and you can sure. literally lock it in. Lock it in. Yes, sir. The other thing that's cool about all the LRADs, the new ones now, they come with the, uh, Record on the fly microphone. This is brand new. We just came out with this this year. You can literally hit these two buttons, record up to a one minute of message, let go, hit the green button, and it'll transmit exactly what you just said. The MP3s that come with the LRAD, uh, they hold two gigabyte of data. So as long as it's an MP3 format, you guys can uh, literally download. So if it's music, sounds, uh, uh, translation, message. you know, message, whatever, um, the last thing is, uh, this has a 20 foot cord on it, so you can unravel it, take these components away from it, and talk. And then uh, we came up with the wireless kit. Right. This would take the place of this. All you do is hook this on the top and power it through the LRAD. This is on a low frequency band, so it right. doesn't we interfere. Right, about that. It doesn't interfere with some of the other radio communication or frequency going on. Right, sir, because we had to make sure that we didn't interfere with military or any of the police out there. Um, and make sure that we got a low frequency band, but high enough that we could talk up to 300 meters away from the LRADs. The other cool feature about this is if we hook these uh, receivers up to different LRAD systems, we can daisy chain them and have one operator operate numerous LRADs as long as they're within the uh, 300 meter range. All they do is they take this uh, transmitter and they stick this on their belt or their LBV. It's dialed into the same frequency as that and then we're able to communicate through the uh, headset. Through the headset. Right here. Or they can uh, put those other uh, pieces of equipment that we talked about. The iPads or whatever. iPads, VRT, squids, freight later, and you can go wireless with those as well. Wow. 
which is a very cool feature. It keeps the soldier out of harm's way. And that's relatively new, right? Yes, sir. We came out with this uh, just a little over a year ago. All right. So this is the, this is the somewhat big daddy. Medium size. I mean, yes, sir. Have much bigger, but. This is the, uh, the one that uh, the U.S. Army is really, really looking at right now. They're, they're trying to get 6,350 of these units. Wow. Um, and like 50% of them are supposed to go to the MPs and possibly transportation. Um, and a reason, there's a need for this. Absolutely, sir. Yeah. What this does, basically the LRADs give your, your guys an extended standoff. If I'm here and I want to talk all the way out to 1,000 or 2,000 meters. And to convey any type of message. Any kind of message. Right. Um, and so what we did is we came up with this RE control box for the 500X RE. Okay. This will hold two gigabytes of data. And we made all these large buttons with backlight. And that's what you were talking about. You can record, give uh, MP3s, any type of, well, the MP3 file. And you can put, whether it's verbal, music, sounds. Yes, sir. That. Okay. And it all comes up on this digital screen, just like a regular MP3. We have it at a wide angle, so it's the, the same angle as what's right here, the same width, okay. if you will, uh, for the beam of the LRED. If I flip that and tighten the beam, I shrink it down to 50% and accentuate that sound directly on a target. When we do that, we use these crosshairs. So the operator comes behind here, lines up it, the crosshairs. Line it up, just right through it. And they flip that switch and accentuate and tightens the beam and puts it directly on the target. So they're catching more of that sound accentuated on that target than if I leave it, leave it on the wide beam. Uh, the maximum range on this one's 2,000 meters. So- um, And then you, we were kind of talking about the, the mount, you see some other uh, you want to talk about that as well? With the yes, 2, sir. Meters. Uh, we have a mount system up here that we can put other items such as the max beam light, like what we got on here. This light particularly goes out to two, well, two miles uh, with 12 million candle. We also got a B.E. Meyer laser kit, and we can put all kinds of different lasers on here or different light systems. And the light itself can be powered through the back of the LRAD system. Okay. So we don't need an external power source. And, and this power, what does this use as a power source? This power source uses 12 or 24 volt battery, uh, which is found on all our military vehicles. Right. Or we can also mount or uh, power it up with a, uh, you know, a regular 110 or 220. And uh, we have that kit that goes, you know, goes that they can get, well, it's an accessory. Okay. And we have what we call a gunner protection kit mount, a GPK. Okay. Uh, that mount will fit right up with the gunner protection kit, and it'll go on the left or right side of a gunner. So depending on what hand they are, we can flip-flop the yell red. Got it. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming by and seeing oh, us. Oh, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks for having us.